Now, he's only yes. betting 25,000. Now, keep in mind, there's 134,000 in the pot. That's a very small bet. Looks like he's begging for a call here. And for this price, Gus might want to just look him up just for reference on what he raised with and what he's betting with. Gus Hansen doing tricks with the chips. I just, it totally amazes me. This guy could be put in the circus the way he handles those chips. Very curious as to what Daniel he's has. Gonna he's going to look him up. It's been called. We have, he says, full Daniel house. turns over the queen. Has king queen. Gus <laughs> mucks his hand. I believe Gus called that as much for reference for future. You know, he just wanted to get information. He wanted to see how the guys planned, what he raised with before the flop. It cost him 25000 but he learned a lesson. Well, Daniel's made a nice comeback, Vince. He now has a nice lead. Well, he's got a real shot here. I've taken this title. It's on Daniel. He's got ace jack, Mike. Very nice hand. Heads up, and he comes in Daniel's for 50000 Total of uh, the Master of Deception has an ace six offsuit. Total. And look at this. At look at this. He's going to raise it, Mike. Gus says he's going to raise it. Whoa, he sure is going to raise it. He's going to re raise. Let's see how much it is. 100, Another 100,000. He's going to make it 150. Now, Daniel total. looks back at his ace jack. So it's cost him another 100,000. He's in a dominating position right here. He's got ace jack versus ace six. The re-raise is He's got a pretty good hand, and look at this. He's not going to get pushed around. He's going to call it. And he calls it. So right now, we have Ace Jack versus Ace Six. There's over 300,000 in the pot. Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion of this hand on the World Poker Tour from the Commerce Casino. darling. You're early. I was just running Miss Stern here through the company's disciplinary procedures. She's new here in charge of incentives and retribution. It's a new management concept, new and every week boring. Anyway, uh, M Mildred, Miss Stern, Miss Stern, my wife. Bad poker face? Doesn't matter when you play online at tardypoker.com. It's fun, it's easy, it's the world's largest poker room. Pervert. This is the L.A. Poker Classic on the World Poker Tour. A Vegas legend, a Hollywood craftsman, and two poker pros are gone. That leaves amateur Daniel Renzer in a heads-up battle against past WPT winner Gus Hansen. Only one of these men will walk away with the bigger slice of a $1.3 million prize pool. Welcome back to the Commerce Casino in Los Angeles, California. We're watching two players go heads-up ace-jack against ace-six. We're going to see a flop, very intriguing hand about to unfold. Remember, there's over 300,000 in the pot. Here comes a flop. Oh, flop is ace, ace nine, nine eight. eight. Both Three players have made a pair, the oh. top pair. That's right. The difference is Daniel has a jack kicker, whereas Gus only has a six kicker. This is pretty amazing. This is the kind of hand that makes or breaks you in a tournament. But look at Gus. It's on him to act first. He's thinking about it. He's got a pair of aces. What would you do? Gus He's checks. checking his two aces. And here comes Daniel. Daniel looking now, confident. Daniel's only betting 75,000 at this pot. Now, there's over 300,000 in the pot, and yet he's only betting 75,000. Now, that's a very peculiarly small bet for a pot this size, I think, at this stage of the tournament. In the meantime, Gus is now scratching his head. What is he going to do with an A6 here? Well, this could be an absolute disaster if he decides to call this. He would be way behind at this point. Look at him scratching his head. Well, his dilemma is he knows if his opponent's got an ace, he's going to have the worst hand. This might take a little while. He's joking around there. <laughs> Trying to keep a little levity here. Loosen himself up. He's not joking too much, I don't think. You're talking about serious bucks, and this pot is critical. Well, right now, Daniel Renser is a big favorite to win this pot. He has ace-jack. He's up against a six. Of course, you don't know how Gus is going to play this hand. This is a superstar poker player, Gus Hansen. He's won one World Poker Tour event already at Bellagio. Now, look at what he's doing with the chips, the riffling of the chips. You see that? 
If you ever sit down at a poker game and you see someone do that, don't walk. Run out of the casino because that means you're going to lose all your money. I'm telling you right now, he's in a bucket of boiling water. This is a huge pot developing right here, and Gus is going to call. He's going to call. Whoa. Gus calls the 75. We now have 454,000 in the pot, and Gus is in serious trouble right now. Here we go. Fourth Street coming up. Next card wow, now the Fourth Street's a 10 of clubs. Oh, man. Now this gives Gus the nut flush draw and a straight draw. And he's going to check checks. it. Time, please. Daniel Dan still has time. the best hand and an open end straight draw himself. All right, go ahead. And he checks. He's going to check it, too. Here we go on 5th Street. So Gus is going to get a free draw at this hand, and he hits a six. six. Oh, no. Gus Hansen has made aces and sixes in this pot. What a killer card for Daniel. He's made aces and sixes. Gus has just pulled a miracle out of his pocket. He sure has. He was in big trouble when this hand started, and right now, Daniel's in big trouble. Now, it gives Gus... Aces and sixes, top and bottom pair, but believe me, there's a lot of hands that can beat that right now. 200. Gus Whoa, is going to bet. A healthy bet, too. That's 200,000 he has yeah, bet. Dan is going to call immediately. Yeah. Look at this. He's coming in. Aces up. So, that's good. He says aces. Aces up, aces Gus turns up aces and sixes, aces oh, and, and Daniel the throws the ace jack, jack away. Oh, man. Whoa. That's as bad as it gets there. Well, you know, I'll tell you. Gus got awful lucky to hit that six on the end. But sure quite did. honestly, in pokers in life, you make your own breaks. I think Daniel could have played this pot a lot differently. He called the 200,000 at the river before he took his time. There's a lesson there, Vince. You got to take your time. You got to think. You should review the betting before it's your turn to act. And what a pot that was, Vince. That was an $854,000 pot. That has really turned things around in this match. The momentum has switched back right to Gus's side with that pot. You see him sitting straighter up in his chair. He knows momentum has taken over. He delivered a serious blow to his opponent. Yes, he has. With that money, Gus Hansen takes the chip lead once again in this tournament. Okay, Daniel has picked up a queen and a four. Queen four offsuit, but look at He's this. going to call it. Gus has two kings. Oh, man. Two cowboys, a real hand, and of course he's going to raise it. That's 35,000. Oh. Daniel quickly calls it. I don't like that call. This I might is called no fold em, hold em here at the Commerce Club. All Let's right. see a flop. Flop comes 9 5 4. Now nine, remember, Gus has two five, kings. Four, Daniel has flopped the bottom pair. He has a pair of fours. That Gus isn't wasting any time here. The big pair, he looks like he's going to set up and bet. He does. He, he fires. 30,000. 30, uh, Daniel's got a little pair of fours, but he's called. He's called the 30,000. Here comes 4th Street. The turn card. A jack the comes jack up. Jack diamonds. comes up on the turn. No help to either player. Now, Gus checks two kings there. Check, check. Very interesting to me. And the last card is a three. Three of clubs. It's on Gus again. I think he's trying to trap him here a little bit. Well, he has a pair of kings. That's massive on a heads-up game at this point, especially the way these guys have been playing. The thing is, he acts the same way whether he has a good hand or he has a lousy hand. The guy's a great poker face. Can't learn that at home, Mike. And look at Daniel, cocking his head over there. Oh, Daniel's got a silly pair time. of fours. Here he comes. He bet 60000 I hope you're bluffing again. The glasses go off again, but he's quickly going to call it. This is a mistake. He calls too quickly here. He fires 60,000 in there. He keeps trying to catch him bluffing. He doesn't do it one more time. he got nobody to blame but himself for this pot. You just can't keep calling these raises pre-flop with weak hands trying to hit lightning in the bottle. In the poker world, we call that tilt. You get one bad play, you come back a little steaming. For some reason, even if you think you're playing it right, you don't. He dug his own grave in that hand. He hasn't been the same guy ever since he got outdrawn with that aces and sixes. I mean, his, his game is much more impatient. No. He seems a little bitter, a little hostile inside. No, you're seeing his inexperienced show right now. Let's see if he can gather himself and get back in the hunt here. You've got to be so cautious at this point. One misstep and you're done. They're playing fast. Here we go again. Daniel's not fooling around anymore. He's picked up a queen ten. He goes all in. All right. Gus is going to call him. Gus has picked up ace-jack. This is going to do it. They're both all in. Ace-jack against queen-10. Daniel knows he's in trouble now. Daniel's up yeah. on his feet. It's ace-jack versus queen-10. Queen ten. Ten. Daniel ace stretches, jack. puts his arms behind his head. He knows he's an underdog. Here comes the flop. Here it comes. 
Oh, oh yeah. The 10 comes on the flop. Daniel has done it so far. Yeah, he's got a pair of 10s. He's in front. He could double up. Remember, if he wins this pot, it'll be over 400,000. That's not going to help Gus any. Daniel's in front. A big swing here. He would love to take this pot. He needs right back or a in jack. It. Whoa, a jack comes oh. at the river. Oh, I can't believe it. Gus Hansen is hit lightning at the river. It's over. Gus has done it. Two-time World Poker Tour champion hits the jack on the on the river. Yep, he got lucky at the river there, but he did have the best hand when all the money went in, Vince. Oh, man, Daniel is devastated on the side. Thought he was going to win that. Yep. He's a little shell-shocked at the moment. He shrugged his shoulders. He tried his best. It just wasn't good enough today. Give Gus Hansen credit, though. He's a machine gun warrior that keeps firing chips at the pot. Daniel gave it his best go today. He misplayed just one or two hands, we thought, a little bit that might have cost him. He went on tilt just slightly near the end. But I'll tell you something exciting. Daniel, good luck. You have another shot at Mr. Hansen because you are in the WPT Championship at Bellagio because Gus has already made it there before. So he's qualified now. He'll take a shot at millions of dollars at the Bellagio. So Gus Hansen has taken the L.A. Poker Classic. He is truly a legend now in the poker world. This was his second World Poker Tour title. He's picked up over a half a million dollars. And so for Mike Sexton, I'm Vince Van Patten saying, see you next time on the World Poker Tour. And just remember, if you can't spot the sucker at the table, you're it. So long till next time.